Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Pastor Joe, and welcome to the Cup of Joe. With me today, I've got two lovely ladies who are joining us as our special guests. We have Ella Folk and Kylie Turner. Ladies, how y'all doing? Good. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Good, good. How's life going? Pretty crazy, but not crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so we've got the quarantine happening right now. We're still under quarantine, and um, the governor has said that we have to wear masks. So... Did you all buy like any cool special masks or are you just going with the uh, good old painter's mask? Kylie. Actually, my mom makes great masks. Okay. She made me one and it's got like flowers on it. I like it. Oh, okay. That's a little flower mask. That's special. Would yeah, she make me a cool mask? I don't know. You have to ask her. Okay. Well, I will ask your mom to make me a cool mask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mom made masks for my sisters and I and they have like chickens on them. Oh They're man, great. so both I of you have them. cool masks. I've just got like the old like painter's mask that I don't even know if it works or does anything, but. I'll get you a mask, don't okay. worry. All right, we're gonna make it happen. You know what we should we do? To. We need some Cup of Joe masks. So tell me, how else is life going? What, what are some other things happening in, uh, in y'all's world? Anything interesting? School ending, school's finishing. Procrastination. <laughs> Procrastination, <Yeah. laughs> okay. What, what are you procrastinating on? Um, end of the year stuff that's due. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Ella, how about you? Are you procrastinating or are you finished? Are you ahead I'm of I'm a finished. You're a finished. All yes. right. You are finished with everything. <laughs> that's, that's good. Um, well, here, let me pour y'all a uh, cup of joe since you made it out to the show here. We'll get you a little cup of coffee here. And as you can see, we have our sweet new unofficial uh, cup of joe <laughs> mugs. <laughs> With uh, our sweet little logo here on the uh, on the mug. So if you want one, they're not for sale yet. Yet being the key word. That was an interesting sound. So, um, so that's what we've got going on right now. Well, Kylie, would you be willing to read some scripture for us as we kind of dive into what we're going to be talking about today? I would absolutely love to. You would love to? I, love, I to. love that. All right. We'll go ahead. And we're going to be reading today out of Proverbs. We're going to look at Proverbs chapter 3, since it is Wednesday, June 3rd. Um, I hope I got the date correct. But um, So Kylie, would you go ahead and read for us Proverbs chapter 3, uh, verses that we talked about? Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in your power to do it. Do not say to your neighbor, go and come again tomorrow, I will give it. When you have it with you, do not plan evil against your neighbor who dwells trustingly beside you. Mm. Do not contend with a man for no reason when he has done you no harm. Man, that's that's a good word, isn't it? Like, yeah, it is. You think about, it's talking about a bunch of different things here. Like, don't do wrong to people. You should actively go and do good things for other people. Um, you know, it kind of makes me think about a game. Do you guys know... You guys know what game I'm thinking of here? Sadly, yes. You see what yeah. you see where I'm going? You see where I'm going here? I think, so. I think it is time for us to to play Splash or Dare. All right, so here we are for Splash or Dare. The way that this game is going to work is I have here some cards with different dares, we're gonna alternate back and forth, and the contestants here have the option of either doing the dare and receiving a point, or they can take their super soaker and shoot the other person, and the other person gets the point. And so the person at the end who has the most points will receive the grand prize. So, here we go, are you guys ready? Oh yeah. Are you guys ready? Come on. Yeah, all right, here we go. There we go, so the first one, we're gonna give this to Kylie. Is Kylie, would you eat a handful of chili lemon peanuts all at one time? Eat a whole handful all at one time. If you don't know about these at home, these are super potent tasting, like very, very flavorful. Kylie, what do you think? I you had one this morning and I almost threw up. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. Go for it, go for it. Three, two, one, go, go, go. <laughs> oh, I'll laugh it up. That's funny. All right, good job. You got the point. Okay, Ella, 
Would you play Chubby Bunny? But each round, you have to add two more marshmallows to your mouth. If you fail, you get splashed. All right, go ahead, so here we go. First one, just start off with uh, two. There you go. And let's hear the Chubby Bunny, guys, say the magic words. Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny, all right, good job. You are tentatively getting that point. All right, Kylie, are you willing to drink water like a bird? I bet you probably wanna get that taste out of your mouth, huh? You drink water like a bird? No? You don't want to? All right, you gotta shoot. <laughs> Oh, all right, there we go. Point for Ella. Ella, mm -hmm. here's a good one for you. Are you willing to do Cheetos? <laughs> where you have to pick up a Cheeto with your, with your feet. <laughs> all right, no Cheetos, all right. That is unfortunate, but Kylie, you get the point for that. Kylie, are you willing to drink Chick-fil-A sauce through a straw? Drink some Chick-fil-A honey mustard sauce through a straw. I, mean, I think that goes well with some Chili pepper, uh, chili lime flavor there. What do you think? Gonna do it? All right, she's gonna do it, folks. All right, here you go. Let's go ahead and start uh, slurping there. <laughs> oh man, that's so gross. <laughs> oh, the sound of that. I don't know if you can hear the sound. It's bubbling, it's gurgling. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, yeah, that's disgusting. All right, Kylie with the point. Kylie, are you willing to eat a stick of butter? <laughs> I think that's a no. All right, so here we go. Are you, Ella, willing to go on Instagram or Facebook and make a post that you have to leave up for 24 hours asking how to spell Instagram or Facebook? I don't want to be that boring. <laughs> game it looks like we have a clear winner Kylie is our winner you won the grand prize of a cup of Joe sticker I hope it was worth it uh, good job it was, it was. and you know what participation is still awesome anyways we'll see about a runner-up prize so that's all the time we have for this game but we're gonna head back to our desk and we're gonna have some more conversation we'll see you there one eternity later all right, well, we are back here at the desk and that was just awesome. I, I gotta say, I was so proud of you both for taking on the challenges and I was cracking up. Like, I can't believe, Kylie, you drank that sauce through a straw. That was, the sound was just disgusting. It was pretty awful. Um, Very proud of you. Very yeah. Very proud of you. Why didn't you <laughs> help me? Like, oh my gosh, betrayal? <laughs> Well, you know, I think that that kind of speaks to the scripture, right? The, the verses that Kylie read for us at the beginning, talking about doing uh, right by your neighbor. And also uh, here in verse 30, it says, do not contend with a man for no reason when he has done you no harm. Uh, you know, neither of you guys were making each other do the, the dares, but you shot each other instead of shooting me. I was kind of expecting that maybe one of you would, would figure it out and just shoot me instead. But uh, so, you know, living out verse 30, um, I think it's just kind of a fun way to show these scriptures. And so let me ask you ladies, how do you see these scriptures played out in real life? Um, you know, not contending with a man for no reason when he's done you no harm, not planning evil against your neighbor. Verse 27 says, do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it's in your power to do good. So how do y'all see that playing out in, in real life? Um, I think it's really important, us as Christians, yeah. to do that. Uh, I don't see it as much today in our generation <clears throat> just because we're so focused on ourselves and we have a lot on our plate. We, we don't take the time to think about other people and how our decisions can affect them. That's so true. So true. We are pretty individualistic, especially here in this country. Um, as Americans, we are arguably the most individualistic country in the world. So, yeah. Ella, how do you see uh, these verses played out in maybe in the greater culture or even in your own life? Um, I kind of agree with Kylie, like where people are focused on themselves besides others. Yeah. Like they're not focusing on their fruit. 
Yeah, not focusing on their fruit, right? I, I like that because, you know, the fruit of the Spirit is patience, peace, joy, gentleness, love, goodness, self-control. Um, and I think there's a few others I forgot as well. But, uh, you know, these are good things that we need to focus on having developed in our lives. Um, you know, I think about just even recent events that we see happening in our country where people are not looking out for their neighbor, where people are not doing good to each other. And so I just want this scripture to be a challenge to all of us as Christ followers that we need to do good to others. We, it's not enough to just not do wrong things. We need to be actively looking to do good to others. So ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. I am Really glad that y'all came out and spent time with me and ate some really disgusting things and got wet and had fun. Um, so that's all the time we have for today. Guys, thank you so much, viewers, for joining us. Have a good day. Uh, love God, love others, make disciples. We'll see you next time. This has been your weekly Cup of Joe starring Pastor Joe. Don't forget to catch us next Wednesday at noon and share this with your friends. And remember, next week, there might be a grizzly bear.